you. Every Friday during the month of February, we want to share a Black History Month story with you here on 7 Action News at 4. And today, we're shining the spotlight on two young African-American students in Detroit starting their own clothing companies while still in high school. My colleague and anchor partner, Carolyn Clifford, met these young men sharing the experiences that continue to push them forward. Demetrius Yancey and Joshua Taylor are both seniors at Cass Tech High School and are both beating the odds. First, staying out of trouble, out of prison, and out of the morgue. No matter what you go through or where you come from, you can also always persevere and make it to the next level. There's a lot of negativity around like the African American, African American community, and I feel like it's good that we're different from others. According to a report by the U.S. Department of Justice, a black male in the United States today has a greater than one in four chance of going to prison during his lifetime, while a Hispanic male has a one in six chance and a white male has a one in 23 chance of serving time. Instead of becoming a statistic, these two young men will soon be graduating from one of the top high schools in the city of Detroit with plans to go to college. And both are young entrepreneurs starting their own clothing lines while in high school. Demetrius launched the brand Trenches and sells hoodies and t-shirts. So what made you want to start your own brand? What made me want to start my own brand was just my background and going through like a lot of hard times growing up. Joshua launched Racks and sells clothing with various logos, including Deja Vu. Both hope to help their families financially after experiencing death at young ages. Demetrius lost his birth mother. She died when I was six. And like my adopted parents, it was like poverty and was struggle. So I would see them like trying to put food on the table. Joshua has seen death as well. I dedicated to my brother because he passed due to a heart attack from overworking. And after he passed, he didn't have much to show for it. They both credit family and their teachers at CAS for giving them the drive to stay off the streets and reach new heights as successful businessmen of the future, including their marketing and finance teacher who opened their eyes about building wealth. He taught me about like fi financial freedom, um, investing, and more, more things like that. I wanted to like represent that through my brand and give back to my family once I'm successful one day. Two young men headed on a path to success, no question. We thank you, Carolyn, for that.